Who do you think you are walking where you damn please? Who do I think I am? Who do you think you are? We're the ones who brought down your organization in the US, which is not something we should be freely admitting to somebody who's got the drop on us. Yeah! And I'm the po- Wait, you know about that? Explain yourself. Me? Guns? CMP? Pew 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 pew! Win. <laughs> You're as primitive as we predicted. Fine then, you brute. It's on. What is? What's on? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Mike, how is it every time I have to do something by myself, you get locked outside and you're just playing cards with Vincent? These cards aren't gonna play themselves. Alright, we knocked out this guy. Ooh, we had 100 bottle caps. Come see me afterwards. What? Wait, am I naked? Why am I always naked? Why do I end up naked whenever you're around? <laughs> And once you're done, come to the library and pull the red law and begin legal processes. You know what I mean. The red law? Legal processes? Library? Yeah, it's a secret code for something. Let's have a look around. Maybe ask the librarian. Okay, do you know where our stuff is? Wait, why are we all boxing to the death? That's the real question. After all the wacky stuff that's happened, don't you think that's the least of our concerns? I'm still curious as to why this is a thing! Where's our stuff? I think they've taken it. Don't worry, we will find it. But for now, we can go to the shop and get some stuff from there. But before we go, let me teach you a few tricks I learned with melee and an armed combat. No! You're going to need them if we we're going after the MPs. Wait. Wait. You have learned the ways of making use of your bare hands! When Joshua is your companion, your attack speed with all weapons, guns included, is now 20% faster, and you have a higher knockdown chance! Neat! Question! Why is Joshua, the guy who has a custom firearm and custom melee weapon, also an expert in unarmed combat? I don't know. <laughs> Marty Stew! Marty Stew! Marty Stew! <laughs> He's got the Merc Charmer outfit, which is the worst outfit in this game. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But we don't know where your gear is. I guess we'll go to Bits and whatever. Whatever that store was called. You looking for some gear? Yes! You touch it, you buy it. That's not how this works, but okay. You also got robbed, you have no caps now. <laughs> Remember, if it's broke, it isn't my problem. I have an idea. <laughs> You're gonna rob the capitalist? Yeah! I'm gonna take his stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, quick, 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 quick! No, nobody saw that, it's fine. Hello, just keep your voice down and don't disturb the students and you can stay. Do you know of a book called The Red Law? Red Law? Maybe if you're lucky it's a red book. Never heard of it, but you're free to look around the library if you wish. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Bye bye. Are we gonna check every book in the library? That's gonna take forever. Oh, there it is. Hey. Why don't we get something to eat? No, because this book activated a trap door! It was a secret book! Woo! Ah! Secret MP hideout! Murder them all without weapons! <laughs> get out of the way! I'm busy chopping! I used to got facetious on the cook! <laughs> Unfortunately, I think for once this armored suit is better than what I have. <laughs> hey, Zach! What? No, you're an MP! I'm an MP! <laughs> I'm an MP! Samuel! You're evil now! Please! I know this is a lot to take in right now. <laughs> I'm explaining. <laughs> they, say, they say New Vegas is a wacky place. Look, I didn't join them to stop you. I joined them to further the UK's cause. Can I have your lab coat? This place has picked up since we left. I joined them to begin helping with medical research. Noble. But at the same time, Samuel, I hope you understand if we can't allow this to happen. After all, you're an MP! You're an MP! But I think I understand where you're coming from. If so, please leave. I have work I need to do. Just go back to the US. Sam, listen to me. These people want world dominance. I'd rather have controlled and well-organized people running the world than savages and brutes. 
They have an ultimatum, Sam. The amount of power they crave is too much. Just think of the damage. Joshua's got a point. Damage? We far less worse than what is going on now. You think I'm against governments? Sure, I committed forgery at one point, <laughs> but even I agree we need some amount of governing. And your response? What's your point? <laughs> the MPs are an example of a bad government. They worked years and years ago, but... <laughs> yeah. And it will work again. Look around town. Come back here and tell me if it's worse. What do you think? Are the MPs as bad as we give them credit for? I have no idea, man. They tried to kill us. I think they'll work in the UK as long as they stay in the UK. Keep this crap out of my backyard. Perhaps. Given how well the place is built, it's very possible. But what's the solution here? Well, I want my stuff back. <laughs> we killed him. I'm sick and tired of going in circles. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking we find a way to get them to stop coming to the US. Since it failed once, and they only have good results in one country, who knows? Let's convince them otherwise. We'll let them rebuild the UK and stop them from going to the US. I don't really know how we do that. I'm thinking a big wall. Right, I like that plan. Sam, your thoughts? I agree with you. Thank you for seeing things somewhat my way. All I want is to see the UK <laughs> back on its feet again. Let's get to work. Okay. Hooray! Right, here's the plan. We convince people that they shouldn't invade the US again. Not the MPs, but the people. Yes! This will make more sense later. Then, we will dock to the MPs' notes, and lastly, we will attend the meeting disguised as Samuel. Are you trying to turn public opinion? They don't know opinion? what he looks like, so we're using that to our advantage. In that meeting, we must convince them to not attack the US, or else we will have to rely on Plan B. You know what that is. Murder everybody. Might be easier that way. Whatever, that sounds good. Good. Let's go. I don't really understand how swaying popular opinion is going to stop the MPs. Especially from... considering, uh, well, I don't know. I know nothing about British politics. How can I help you? <clears throat> well. Did you know the MPs are going to spend money on invading the US? People are meant to learn. Oh, it's destructive. Thanks for letting me know. Now I know who I'm going to vote for. All right, well, that's one down. Apparently, these people are single issue voters. Okay. His hair, whack. His ear, whack. His jewelry, whack. His foot stand, whack. What? Who is yelling that? Who is that? Whack. This guy. Wait, D. 3 p.m. You're gonna die. Is that a reference as yeah, well? Yeah, that's a reference. You looking for some gear? I realized that I did just attack you a couple minutes ago, but let's let bygones be bygones, and I'm here to tell you that the MPs are gonna spend money on invading the US. What? That's no good for sales, that's communism, not capitalism. Blasphemy! Mm, looks like they have idiots in the UK, too. Thanks for the notice. I knew who to vote for now. Hello, lads. What can I do for ya? El Rocco, can you vote against the US invasion? I've already voted. And don't worry, I voted against it. Good luck out there. Hooray! Okay, thank you. <laughs> Didn't realize today was voting day. We, we timed this really nicely. We did. It's uh, it's going really well. Oh, well, let's go, let's go talk to... The bar! Oh, yes, the old fox and whistle and cat and dog and fiddle and pig and cock and horse and pub in. Yeah. <sighs> that is a mouthful. That's what she said. Ah, because it has the word cock in it. <laughs> Hello there. Why do you talk so weird? It's freaking me out. The MPs are planning on invading the U.S., which will affect your business. No regulars means no income. I'm already late on the rent. Thanks for the warning. I think those are words that are coming out of your mouth. You're welcome. Hey. Mr. Mister. You looking for a quick pick-me-up? Perhaps a trip to the clouds? Don't vote for the MPs. The MPs will ruin business. Yeah, they will. Hello. My name's Mr. Mister. When I get pissed, you get missed. <laughs> it's an Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I got that one. Hello again. Yeah, Craig, the MPs are planning to invade the U.S. on a large scale, which means they'll steal your boat. 
They won't be taking my boat, and they definitely won't be getting my vote. That's for damn sure. Thanks for the heads up. Haha, <laughs> those rhymed. We have convinced four people, and four people is the majority in this town, apparently. Hi, how are you doing? Um, I'm just here to check the computer. Withdraw security notice, thank you for your update. Yes. So now there are going to be fewer guards at the meeting? Yes! Dump the tea in the ocean so that they can't go all the way to the U.S. because there's not enough tea? Oh, oh, that makes sense. I think that's what's happening. USA! 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 Throw the tea in the ocean! USA! 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 Yeah! USA! They just dumped all that tea. Drink up, chaps. Oh, it's a tea addict. Why are you wearing any clothes? We have now done everything asked of us, Dr. Samuel. Yes, it's not that hard to rig an election, apparently. Good. You made it. Now the meeting starts soon. You don't know what I look like yet. Say you and me, that's the plan. Talk to them, get them to see that the US isn't worth it. Oh. And if the push comes to shove, so be it. Just make it quick. I'm sure the rest of the members will get the message the other way. Would you like to turn your glasses upside down so they look like they're right side up and you don't look like an idiot? All right, let's go attend this meeting. Meetings, 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 meetings. Please take a seat and we shall begin. <laughs> Winston Churchill, MP, MP. Hello, dearest members, and welcome Samuel. This is a standing meeting, Zach. This meeting is regarding the recent failed attempts at integrating with the U.S. We employed a no-aggression policy on the whole operation and failed. That was no aggression? Primarily because we ended up using aggression, and apparently <laughs> it was all thanks to a mailman. But I don't believe in rumors. Additionally, our corn supplies are low. Three people by the name of Mike, Zach, and Al had sabotaged them, <laughs> which we will discuss soon. Ah, mm. uh, yes, yes. And once we find the scoundrels who dumped our tea, it will be the death penalty. <coughs> but yes. I digress. We are here to decide whether we cut our losses or strike while they are celebrating a victory. So, Samuel, being our latest member, what do you think we should do? Yes, Samuel, inform us. What's the best course of action here? I believe we should cut our losses with the place. Is that so? How come? There were follow-up questions! We were not briefed on this! I'm sorry, I'm not Samuel. I'm the courier who stopped your U.S. operation. I appreciate your honesty. Eventually. Perhaps we could discuss this further. But, I must say... Die, tea dumper! <laughs> no. Oh, am no, I gonna kill Winston Churchill? Yeah. No, it's not Winston out. Churchill! Communist! What's the communist? Winston Communist?! I hate communism! <laughs> It was Winston's armored suit. I don't think it looks any different. But you're stronger, MP. I'm the MP. Looks like they had all your stuff in the locker here. Note added. Farewell. If you were reading this courier, then you most likely have found a way of wording or punching your way out of things. We knew you were coming, and we expect death. Hopefully you are smarter than that, and you are reading this with a smug expression. I'm smug. I want you to know that if you did have to resort to violence, you shouldn't be smug. Oh. You should feel shame. Goodbye, Winston Churchill. Well, I still feel smug. I feel real smug. Well, that should leave a clear message. Personally, I would have done things differently, but you still did the right thing. Cool. <laughs> Murdering the MPs is apparently the right thing in Joshua's eyes. Can I go home now? I'm tired. Almost. Before we go, I'd like you to talk to Samuel. 
After that, let's take the boat and car back home. So Samuel wanted to become an MP, and then we murdered all of the MPs. Yes. What if Samuel goes hostile? Josh was going to have to put down his own brother. Ooh, that's true. He might. Uh, tell me about the rabbits, George, scenario. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and hotkey all my items back to where they were. Fair enough. Why does Samuel spend so much time in the library anyway, besides being a huge nerd? I heard the meeting when... Poorly. Mm, well... No. Really, I don't know the outcome. It's just that the MPs won't be bothering the US anytime soon. Nope! I don't want to know how it went. I just want to know... What you think I should do. Do whatever you want, man. I don't care. I'm not your mother. I'm... 50-50. That's why I'm asking. I'd stay here, but I don't know if it's the right thing to do anymore. Well, I think he should stay here and work on his medical stuff, become the new mayor, and save lives. A noble goal. You have a point, and that was my original goal. Very well, I will stay here. Since the town needs new mayor, I will oversee the place and prevent any future attempts at the US invasion. <laughs> you ever want to see me again? I will be in the mayor's office. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! Wait, what oh. happened to the last mayor? Uh, I think it was Winston C. <laughs> <laughs> what is with this ending? <laughs> by, by, <laughs> by bullet in the game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, good lord. Nice work, bullet. <laughs> yeah. Nice work, man. <laughs> it's more of an outro, but okay. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Uh. What have I made? <laughs> made a work of art, my friend. That is great. <laughs> I was going to say I'm a little disappointed there's no ending slideshow, but I think this makes up for it. You're still here. Do you like watching men dance? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>